Now let me ask you a quick question. Have you or are you looking for different ways to move away from a reliance upon page builders with WordPress? I know for me, this is something that I've been experimenting with for the last couple of months and I'm pleasantly surprised with how much I can actually get done with a relatively modest set of tools. In this video, I'm going to explore various different tools and also various different scenarios. So if you're looking to transition away or you just want to see what options are out there, then join me as we go through and take a look at various different scenarios in which we can apply different block-based tools to WordPress. So let's start off by taking a look at some of the tools I would recommend if you're looking to create a very simple, basic type of WordPress website. You have an abundance of options here. So what are we talking about? Well, first of all, you could just stick with the vanilla WordPress and embrace the full site editing that's recently been added into the core of WordPress and is being extended considerably over the last year, 18 months and moving forward. While it's still nowhere near a perfect solution, it is going to give you the maximum ability to have future proof when you're working with WordPress and remove reliance upon third party tools to do core functions. However, this may not be the right solution for every person out there. For me, I'm not the biggest fan of full site editing. It needs to mature, but it is an option. But what else do we have? Well, let's just say you wanted to keep things really simple and you just want to use a theme and basically nothing more, but you still want to have a high level of flexibility, maybe to even add in some more advanced features, which we'll take a look at a little later. Well, I would recommend taking a look at Bloxy. Now, Bloxy and Bloxy Pro, which gives you even more options, is a very fully featured theme for WordPress. You could simply go ahead, install this on the companion plugin, and you would basically be good to go. You've got a huge amount of flexibility, some amazing starter sites you can tap into. And if you want to open up even more options, maybe dynamic data, things like that, you could take a look at the pro version. But even the free version comes with a header and footer builder, which gives you a ton of customization. There's an abundance of options here that should cater for pretty much every scenario. Another solid option you want to maybe take a look at, and again, has a really fully featured free version, would be Cadence WP or Cadence for WordPress. Now, Cadence, again, is a theme. It also has its own block level plugins, and we'll take a look at and talk about some of those a little later. But Cadence is going to give you a great starting point. It's a fully featured theme. Again, you have a header and footer builder and if you upgrade to the pro version you open up even more options of what you could do so take a look at cadence i think these two could really open up a ton of possibilities to have a simple starting site but also give you the scope that if you want to expand it beyond those basics you got a really solid platform to build upon However, if you want a little bit more control over what you can do and you want to really get in there and customize things in your own way, then Generate Press is probably my theme of choice right now. I would look at the premium version because this opens up the elements option, which allows you to kind of hook into pretty much any part of your site. But if you pair this up with Generate Blocks, which is again, a free version, which has a lot of features, you have a very solid platform for building your websites. So if you want something to give you huge amounts of flexibility or you want just great starting points, you can't go wrong with Cadence, Generate Press or Bloxy. Now, when you want to move beyond what you can do with these themes and the limitations that they may have, you're going to need to look at some kind of block level plugin. Now, these are going to enhance or replace the kind of basic features you have with Gutenberg, which to this point is OK for blog posts and it is getting better. It is getting closer to something that is more usable. But when you want to get more control over typography, spacing, layout, those kinds of things, especially when it comes to responsive layouts, you are going to need to take a look at some kind of block level plugin. For me, Generate Blocks paired with Generate Press is my personal favorite at this point in time. If you opt for the pro or premium versions, then you have even more control. But even the free versions give you dynamic data, custom loop building options, grid layouts, all the things that you should need on top of a solid theme that nicely works together. Again, if you want to go back to Cadence, if that's your pr preference, then you've got Cadence and you've got Cadence Blocks, which is their pairing that opens up the same kind of options. The main difference between Cadence Blocks and Generate Blocks, in my opinion, is Generate Blocks is a little bit more bare bones, but it gives you the tools you need to be able to create lots of different things. 
Whereas Cadence Blocks gives you some of those tools, but also gives you a lot more of a page builder like experience with pre built different elements. So things like accordions, those kinds of things will be included in Cadence Blocks. It is a solid option. The free version has tons of options available. It can feel a little bit overwhelming at times, but I think it is a solid platform that is worth checking out. Like say for me, Generate Press and Generate Blocks is my current tool of choice when I want to combine a theme and a block level set of tools. But there are tons of great options. These are just some of what I would suggest. Now, if you're using something like Bloxy and you like that, but you still want to add in some kind of block level of control, there are lots of options. You could use Cadence, you could use Generate Blocks, but you can also use Stackable, which is another set of options, which again gives you a free version and a pro or premium version, which opens up even more options. They're currently working on a redesign of this to make it faster loading, more intuitive and easier to work with. And I've used, and I do use Stackable on various different projects. This is a tool that I've been using for a little while. and much like Cadence, this has those same sort of options for layout, but also gives you a ton of pre-built customizable blocks that can speed up designing websites incredibly. If you want to do something with clients and you want to optimize your time, Cadence blocks or something like Stackable could really speed up the process. It's up to you how you want to work. Now, when we want to move on to more complex or comprehensive layouts with a lot more functionality, there's two tools that come to mind. First of all, there's Quickly, which is a powerhouse when it comes to working with not only layouts and styling of building your site in more advanced ways, but also when you want to work with dynamic data. This ships every license with Advanced Custom Fields Pro. So you have the full complement of ACF Pro inside quickly integrated into it. So if you want to use dynamic data and you want to have a tool that integrates seamlessly, you may want to check out quickly. It's not the easiest to learn. It does have quite a steep learning curve, still needs some features to be added in, but this gives you a huge amount of control with things like Flexbox, CSS grid, repeater regions, custom queries. It is powerful. Another option you may want to check out would be GreenShift. Now, this is one that I've only dabbled with, and the free version gives you an awful lot. However, the premium add-ons is where you open up a lot of the power. So if you want animation, you want that sort of dynamic data, you are going to need to look at the premium version. But the free version of GreenShift, if you just want to build things and you want advanced layout controls, again, with CSS Grid and Flexbox and all those kinds of things, you may want to check out GreenShift. It is, again, very, very powerful. But if you want those advanced features with dynamic content and so on, you are going to need to take a look at actually investing some cash into this. And you can use GreenShift with pretty much any theme you want. It should work across the board. So if you want to use Cadence, Generate Press, Bloxy, or a different option like Astra, for example, you can still use GreenShift alongside it. Check it out. Now, when you want to move on and create things with a more dynamic kind of set of tools, in other words, you want to use things like Metabox or Toolset or Advanced Custom Fields, those kinds of things, you are going to need to take a look at some specific kinds of tools. Bloxy Pro, the Pro version, not the free version, opens up the ability to work with Advanced Custom Fields, and it integrates very nicely into it. It's a great way of not relying upon a bunch of different tools to be able to integrate this into just the theme. You don't need to have block level plugins. If you don't want to use them, you can hook into this directly. So when you create listing sites like real estate, car listings, those kinds of things, you can do that with Bloxy Pro. And I've already done that. I'll link to some videos down below so you can check out how I've used this with ACF just so you can get a head start on it. However, if you want to move on from there, then you do have things like Cadence Blocks. You would need the pro or premium version of this to get access to those features for working with the more basic level options with Advanced Custom Fields, Metabox, and so on. So you're going to need to get access to that. Generate Blocks is exactly the same. If you go for the premium version of this, you get some extra features. However, the free version of Generate Blocks also gives you support for ACF meta information. There's just some of the more advanced features are not included. However, if you don't mind spending out a little bit of cash, then you may want to take a look again at green shift and pairing this up with something like ACF because you can get an awful lot done with that if you want to create some simple websites using dynamic data. And in much the same way, you could pair this up with quickly, although you have ACF integrated into it and you could do a lot. So if you want to get into a more basic to intermediate level of dynamic data, dynamic websites, you have a range of different tools here you can use. If you want to keep things simple, 
you can use something like Bloxy Pro. If you want to get more advanced, you could use Quickly or you could use GreenShift. You have options available to you. Now, what about if you want to get even more advanced with dynamic content using tools like ACF? Well, this is where, for me, you have two options at this point in time. And one of these would probably be my pick because it has so much integrated into it. And that will be quickly. You can do an awful lot with this. Like I say, you've got ACF integrated directly into the plugin and theme itself. So you don't have to buy another license. And you can then tap into things like the repeater regions and things like that. You've got a really powerful query builder included in this if you want to tie this into things like WooCommerce and so on then again you've got tons of controls there's a huge amount of filtering options that have been included in quickly so you cover pretty much all the basics you've got conditional logic dynamic data filtering all those kinds of things all as part of quickly and this is still relatively new there's a lot more coming to this in the future quickly is a really good one green shift on the other hand gives you probably a lot of control, but not necessarily to the same level as you have inside a tool like Quickly. So Quickly would be the one I would say is gonna give you the most power right now. But if you wanna check out, take a look at GreenShift, see if that covers the things that you want inside there. But you can very easily create those more advanced listing sites with filtering, with searching, with queries, advanced queries, and so on using a tool like Quickly. It's incredibly powerful. Now, rounding things up in this, we've kind of covered how to work with those different tools and how you can use those in various different scenarios. But what if you wanted to create your own unique blocks for WordPress? Could you do that? Well, yes, you can. I've got two different plugins that I think you should check out and take a look at, both of which are totally free. So you could experiment with these, see if they do what you want them to do. And if they do, you've got access to them. First of all, we've got the option for lazy blocks. Now, lazy blocks allows you to visually create your own custom blocks and then use those inside WordPress itself, inside the Gutenberg editor. There's a caveat to this. You are going to need to have a basic understanding of either HTML or PHP. Now you can get away by doing a lot with the HTML options and there's really solid documentation which you can just copy and paste and tweak and adjust as you need to. But take a look at lazy blocks. But if you are a PHP kind of guru and you want something that's just an easy visual way of working, then lazy blocks gives you a lot of control over that aspect too. So you can easily use this. If you want to offload to a client, you can go ahead into Gutenberg, take out all the tools you don't want them to have access to, create your own custom blocks, and then let them build out their pages and their designs using your custom blocks, filling out the information that you only want to allow them to have access to. You might want to check that out. The next option is Genesis Custom Blocks. Now this again, there's a pro or premium version, I believe, but the free version should be enough to get you started. And if you want more, then I would probably say take a look at Lazy Blocks. But this works in a very similar fashion, but you don't really need to get your hands dirty messing about with code. This is more of a visual way of working. So check that out if you want to create your own custom blocks. And if you'd like me to see to, to me create some content covering these different kinds of tools, let me know in the comment section below and I can take a look at covering them. But that's what I wanted to talk about. If you're looking to move away from a reliance on page builders or you just want to augment your tool set with something that's a simpler setup, this should give you plenty of options for various different scenarios so you can pick and choose what you want to test out. Most of these have free options that let you find out exactly what you think of them and whether you want to invest money and time and effort into the more pro or premium versions. As always though, all applicable links are in the description below and I would welcome your feedback if you've got other tools and your experience on moving away or augmenting working with page builders with WordPress. Let me know in the comment section below. As always, my name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts and until next time, take care. Thank you.